Well, good morning, everybody. This is my view from my balcony. We got the new stadium there, and the Disney Wonder is still in court. Not a bad way to wake up in the morning. Okay, it might be a little loud outside, so I decided to come inside, and I thought I'd update everybody. Uh, still no new news from my test site. Uh, no email saying it's been 24 hours now as of recording this video, noon today. So I'm getting a little antsy because I fly out at noon tomorrow, roughly. And I need that test, otherwise I'm messed up again with my flights and hotels, etc., etc. So not a good situation. No news in this case is not good news. But I will tell you some good news that's going on out there. Over in Galveston, Texas, two more Royal Caribbean ships have been cleared and set sail for test cruises. The Symphony of the Seas and the Independence of the Seas that uh, will be bringing Royal Caribbean back online there. So that's good news. More larger ships as well. We also had the Odyssey set sail for her first passengers. The Mardi Gras set sail for her first passengers. And some more cruise lines getting ready to start. Yeah, the much aligned, much anticipated, much scrutinized Virgin Cruise Line Scarlet Lady is finally going to be setting sail this week. Uh, I'm, I'm, even if I would hate the ship, I'm just glad they're sailing because that, you know, they've been pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing their start date over and over and over again. And I just feel so sorry to, you know, imagine starting a business uh, at the, your launch date of your brand new ship, your first ship ever is the very week the pandemic hits. <laughs> so I, I just felt really, really bad for that. On other news, the uh, Rotterdam has been delivered for Holland America. She took possession of that brand new cruise ship. Again, more good news uh, and some more particularly good news for me and my buddy Tony and some other people I know. Uh, but before I get to that, let me just let me just hey, why don't you just hit that hit that subscribe button up there? Doesn't cost anything. Really helps the channel if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate it. It it really does, believe it or not, help the channel grow immensely. And uh, I have to remind people that's not a subscription to anything. That's not signing up for emails or anything. It's just helping the channel out, and I would appreciate it greatly. The great news is the Majestic Princess finished off her first sailing to Alaska with no hiccups, no hitches, no positive cases, no nothing. And I'm on that ship in September, so I've been really looking forward to sailing on Princess again. Although my, my sailing on the edge, remember, uh, my sailing on the edge, what happened afterwards has nothing to do with the impression I have from the edge as far as the ship is concerned and the staff is concerned because that's been really, really good. Um, my experience on there was doubly enjoyable. It was a beautiful ship, friendly staff. I had two great friends on board. So, I mean, <laughs> I had a pretty darn good time. And you know what? I'm still smiling, right? I'm still smiling. I did see some comments out there. Some people were wondering that Am I getting special treatment from Celebrity because I have a YouTube channel? And let me just say for one thing, the lady that has been looking after me at Celebrity is just the hotline I call. They have no idea. She has no idea who I am. She has no idea that I have a channel. I am just Joe Blow who had an issue trying to get back to Canada and they've been looking after me. I haven't said, oh, by the way, I am Dawn's Family Vacations or, you know, I, I am a travel agent. I haven't said any of that. I just called up and said, this is my room number and uh, this is what happened and then my booking number and they have been looking after me. So as far as I know, they have no idea as far as the head office and the, like the, the help desk and the emergency lines, they don't know who I am. And the first few people I was talking to, you definitely knew they didn't know who I am. 
because uh, they mispronounced my name a few times wrong, and if they knew me, <laughs> they would probably get that right. So, <laughs> I mean, Don's not that hard. <laughs> But no, I don't think that's the case. I think they are generally trying to make sure everybody's happy because they don't want bad stories to go out one way or the other through word of mouth, through media, through news stories. I mean, how many times have you seen something go wrong and then a local news station picks it up and the next thing you know, it's on the, the national news saying, oh, this person got kicked off the ship or this person has complaints. But uh, so they're looking at, they want to make sure everyone's going as smoothly as possible. And I think that's generally the consensus for most cruises. Now, my buddy Tony over at Lalita Loca, he's heading to a ship today over in Miami, the first MSC cruise to set sail. And I'm curious to see the difference between the Edge and the MSC cruise because the protocols are completely different on board, at least for now. So I'll be tuning into that and see how he's doing as well. But as far as I'm concerned, my news, no news. I'll, I'll, I'll try and do an update video if I hear anything tonight. I'll pop something out there. Uh, but if you don't hear a video from me all night tonight, that means you know I haven't received my test yet. And that could just be more and more problems. Yikes. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, uh, from Florida still, <laughs> have yourself a safe and a great vacation.